Hi, I thought I'd just do a quick video showing this uh, SLA printed prototype of my new custom EEV blog multimeter because I have to ship it back to them. Apparently then this is the only one in existence. Maybe it cost them a fortune to get it made. But uh, anyway, they want it back so the uh, couriers come in to pick it up. So I thought I'd have a quick look at it. So let's um, take a look. It was modeled after, basically I wanted a similar size to the uh, Bryman BM257, which I, I love this little uh, meter, just because it's so small and compact. And you can see that mine is not much bigger. I think it's, I think it's ended up being like five millimeters uh, taller, but it is significantly uh, thicker. And I'll show you why in a minute. So there you go. It's, you know, maybe not a huge, actually, maybe not a huge amount when you include that. But anyway, this is um, the 3D printed uh, meter plus the holster around the outside. So let's actually take it apart and have a squeeze. I don't know what printer they use for this, but it is absolutely incredible. It really is. So let's take a squeeze. Comes apart like this. This is the bottom of the holster. And uh, I don't know if actually the holster, I think they might have split the holster like that. They've actually got it coupled to the front just so that they could uh, 3D print it. So I don't actually think it's going to be like that. And you can see it's got my face in there. My little Dave hand, Dave head, dick head. There you go. Just like the Tricky Dicks had a, mo uh, a face on it. I always wanted... A mo Ever since I was a kid, I always wanted a multimeter with my own face on it, just like Tricky Dick. But I thought, nah, it'd be a bit silly to put my face on the front. It's a bit tacky. So anyway, I've just molded it into the uh, case in the back. And there's the stand on the back. So that's, uh, and the probe holders as well. So that's pretty neat. Let's take a look at this. Now this, it all comes apart, by the way. Oh yeah. Wait until you see it. Here we go. There we go, look at that. Beautiful. And let's have a look inside. They've uh, molded the uh, molded the connectors onto there and they've molded in, you can see that they've uh, <laughs> molded in the switch on the front with all the detail inside. So that must have just popped out of their, you know, their 3D model. It was all inside detail, but the printers actually tried to print that. And we might be able to see that. We'll actually, we'll be able to see that when I show you the uh, PCB, but um, yeah, there's our rubber uh, membrane uh, front keys, and so that's that's the front. You'll notice that it does have nice deep grooves around here, so it's got reasonable blast protection on it. I like that. And here's the inside of it, and uh, sorry, here's the back cover of it, and you'll see that uh, the battery cover comes off as well. So they've printed the battery and fuse cover. It's almost the entire length of the meter. You can see that it uses four AA batteries and I have tested. They do actually uh, fit in there. So yeah, I uh, that's why it's a little bit thicker than normal. They had to make the meter uh, thick. I think an extra five millimeters thick because I went from, I moved from triple A's to double A's. I just, because this has got uh, Bluetooth uh, built in, I wanted it to, you know, have as much battery life as uh, possible. So I went for double A's and amazingly fitted it in there. I don't know how they've actually got the, um, you know, everything in there. Basically, it's just absolutely incredible how they fitted it all in the same size as the BM257, uh, but with double uh, A batteries. This thing uses two triple A's, by the way. So not only did they fit the four AA batteries, but they also fitted two full-size HRC fuses as well. Whereas the BM257 only has one large HR, uh, one you know, one of the large size HRCs plus one of the smaller um, M205 um, type size. Sorry, three AG uh, size. So yeah, I you know they've done an amazing job actually doing this. So I basically gave them the specs. I said, you know, I want all these specs, blah, blah, blah. And um, I want it in this size multimeter. I gave them the exact dimensions for this one and they, you know, they could meet it. But uh, yeah, when we went to uh, double A's, then they had to uh, make it slightly bigger, but really good job. Still got a big screen. It's going to have uh, dual display on there. But yeah, that's an impressive printed 3D prototype. Look at that. So there's the back battery cover. It's nice. It's got the uh, blast walls inside there, as you can see. And I think that's it. So that's the four main pieces 
of this prototype. Doesn't it look awesome? Oh, man. And now I'll show you the uh, PCB. They, whoop, where did that come from? <laughs> and yeah, you can see, if you have a look inside here, you can actually see the detail, hopefully under, under the switch in there. Hopefully you can see that detail and it's all, you know, look, you can actually see the contacts. You can see, maybe see that through there, those uh, dual wipe contacts. So yeah, the, the printer has printed that because it just popped out of their 3D model. I mean, there's no point printing that sort of detail in there, but they have. And if we have a look at the backside here, they've actually printed on the, uh, look, <laughs> there's the, our 10 amp uh, current shunt there and our two big uh, fuse holders. There we go. And also the sockets, because of the sockets they use, um, this particular manufacturer who shall remain nameless at this stage, uh, they've got the wires coming out and they just bend over and then solder into the PCB like that. So they're actually, uh, that's just the uh, type of um, uh, socket that they uh, use in their particular meters. It's got a high voltage uh, isolation slot in there between the fuse and it's all very impressive. You can see, look, uh, you know, half of the room on that board is taken up by the bloody fuses, the connectors and uh, the current shunt and the switch. It's absolutely amazing. So, but we do have all this extra room on here to mount all the, uh, all the circuitry. So there you go. It should only be a uh, single sided load. I can't see why we'd need a double sided load, although I've yet to see the uh, PCB and uh, schematic for this thing. That one's uh, being worked on as I record this. So there you go. Just thought I'd show you that. Isn't it neat? That's a incredibly impressive 3D print from an SLA uh, type machine. I'd love to know what model they actually use. Maybe they, um, you know, they, they shopped it out. Maybe they don't have it in house, but yeah, they've only got one and they want it back. Don't know why they can't print another one. Must be expensive. I don't know how much it costs to get one of these printed, but the, the fit is absolutely incredible. The fit is just like, you know, that is exactly how, like, ah, oh, exactly how I would expect it to fit from the, you know, the, the proper injection molded uh, cases we'll get. So yeah, it's bang on. This is not like printed on just a MakerBot, right? This is printed on like a fifty thousand or hundred thousand uh, dollar SLA uh, printer. So yeah, absolutely incredible. Hope you like that. Catch you next time.